Hi, I'm Tess. Welcome to My Sweet Tooth Bakery. Today, I'm going to show you how to mix up your batch of artisan dough. It's a master recipe. It's designed to give you enough for four one pound loaves. You mix it up, you let it sit in a refrigerator and ferment for days. It can last up to two weeks as you take out a little bit when you're ready to make a loaf of bread and pop the rest into the refrigerator until the next time you're ready to go. The dough recipe takes four ingredients, uh, water, lukewarm water, all-purpose flour, uh, active dry yeast, kosher salt, and today I'm going to add some herbs because I'm going to make it as an herb bread, but basically it's just four simple ingredients. So the quantities, you're going to use three cups of lukewarm water. That means between 90 to 100 degrees, you want it under 100 degrees uh, because any higher and it will actually kill and deactivate the yeast. You need six and a half cups of all-purpose flour. That converts to 910 grams. The water is uh, 680 grams. Your yeast is one tablespoon. That is 10 grams of yeast. And your salt is from one to one and one half tablespoons of salt. So if you're going for the full one and one half tablespoons, that would actually be one tablespoon and then one teaspoon plus another one half teaspoon. I am also adding, because I want this to be an herb bread this time, I'm going to add one teaspoon of thyme and one half teaspoon of rosemary. Uh, I'm going to mix it up in my six quart tub. I have a lid. Once it's all mixed up, I'll just put the lid on and I can easily store it in my refrigerator in a quarter on the bottom shelf until I'm ready to go. So to mix it up, take your water, lukewarm water, add your yeast, your salt. It just all goes in. Your herbs and your flour. I've measured all of this on my kitchen scale to make sure that I'm as precise as I can. And then I love using this tub because it doesn't make a mess all over my counter and I can easily mix it up using my hands. By the way, as I'm mixing, if you've watched my other videos that I did in this series, there were three videos on how to actually make baked bread and bring it to your table, you might notice my hair is a little shorter. That's because I finally got to the hairdresser. I've been stuck with this quarantine for three months with no haircut. What you see now is the way I normally wear my hair. My kids might tell you that they prefer it longer, but I am so happy to be back to easy, breezy, takes just what, a minute with the hair dryer and I'm done. So this is it. I don't know if you can see the texture. Let me show you. That's it. No muss, no fuss. I just scrape it off of my fingers. It's going to sit here in this tub for two hours on the counter. Once that's done, I will put it in the refrigerator overnight. And in the morning when I'm ready, I will go ahead and put a loaf in the oven. I'm gonna leave it vented for now. And when I put it in the in the refrigerator later on. I will also leave it vented because the first few days it will create some gases, so it needs to have a little room to breathe. Uh, that's it. It's simple. Just, you've got it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment on YouTube or go to the recipe on my website. I'm at mysweettoothbakery.com. You can find me on Instagram, mysweettooth underscore bakery. And I'm on Facebook at My Sweet Tooth Bakery. Uh, happy baking. See ya.